Hi, no YouTube family man, Ant Man here back with another video. Ant Man here is back with one more video for today, and I wanted to talk to you about <clears throat> you know how you look at a legend, you look at Michael Jordan, right? You look at maybe uh, an upcoming legend, maybe LeBron James. Some I mean, of you have mixed mixed feelings about LeBron James, but yes, he is in fact going to be a legend. It is what it is. Uh, we know Steph Curry is going to be a legend, okay? But let's talk about the real legends of today, okay? When you look at Bill Gates, he's a legend. You look at Mark Cuban, he's he's a legend. You know, these guys have um, done some things that is impeccable. And you're like, oh my God, you know, they represent... Uh, these people represent authority. They represent strength. They represent uh, hustlers. They represent ambitious, business-minded individuals. They have endorsement deals. They have, if they send a recommendation or something, best believe it's it's going to it's going to happen. That person is going to get hired. That person is going to get fired. This is going to happen. Their word is bond. Their word is real. Okay, uh, but at one point, the legend that we know of, Michael Jordan, he was an amateur. Before we know him as, you know, his own symbol, before we knew anything about the Jordan brand itself, he was an amateur. Before we knew how high he can fly when he jumped from that, you know, when he, when he jumped from the foul line, he was an amateur. Before we even knew how good his shot was and how good his crossover was and how good of a trash talker he was and extremely competitive how he was, he was an amateur. Before we knew how crazy a dunker Kobe was, how crazy a dunker Vince Carter was, they were amateurs. We didn't know anything about these wonderful men and wonderful leaders in, in the world today. They were amateurs. Before they even stepped foot on the court, let alone held a basketball in their hands, they were amateurs. When you look at Ray Lewis, he was an amateur. Before he sacked any quarterback, broke anybody's bone, put fear on the field, he was indeed an amateur. Everybody was an amateur. But it's not about being an amateur, okay? It's about what you do, what you uh, what you take in while being that amateur. What I love about all the people that I just mentioned, they are learners. These amateurs are learners. They are perfectionists. These are people that you should stalk. You should try to get into the mindsets of them and figure out what it is that keeps them being so successful, even at their early 40, 50, or, you know, 60, 70, however old, you know, that they are. They still have that competitive, that drive that pushes them every day, not to just get up and just later, even though they got all the money to do so. But they still hit the courts, even though they know that they may not be in the tip top shape to, you know, do all those crazy dunks and everything. But they still get up. They don't sit there and they don't lay there. Kobe said when I read one of his quotes, he said something like he uh, he he's not comfortable with lazy people or he doesn't he, he doesn't, you know, he, he just can't get, you know, into that mode, basically, you know. Um, um, he, he the same vibe. He's not he's not used to laziness, you know, because he's a go getter. He's someone that gets up every single day, probably two, three, four o'clock in the morning, still shooting. Um, he's not even playing. It's, it's it's crazy, you know. But all of these people that I mentioned were amateurs. They was not legends yet. Everybody talks about the amazing, you know. Uh, uh, this person making 40 something uh, points in a game, this person making 50, 60 something points in a game. I remember, I think it was one player that made 100 something points in a game. All of these people, <clears throat> excuse me, when you look at their stats, you look at their record, we look at all the endorsement deals, you look at all of the things that they've done business wise and with schools and uh, goodwill and, and, and giving to the homeless and, 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 and all of the great things that they probably do for their communities and stuff. That's all great. But before we knew them as great, they was a bum at one point. They was not what we see them as today. So what took them from an amateur to a legend? Consistency. They never let someone say that, oh, you're too dark to play. Oh, you don't have enough flight when you jump off the ground. Oh, your dribble is shot. Oh, you don't have the perfect shot. Don't you think if somebody would have, if all of them people would have listened to them, we would not even have not one pair of Jordans out yet. We would not have no Kobe's, no Mamba. We wouldn't know anything like that, right? We wouldn't have no LeBrons. We wouldn't have nothing. We wouldn't have any of that, okay? 
When you join an online business for the first time, you are an amateur. But don't feel left out. Don't feel like you can't bring nothing to the table. See, you have to understand there's a difference between being a regular normal ball player and being somebody like Kobe Bryant. Okay. Kobe Bryant took on uh, an already dominant team. When you look at the history of the Lakers, we already know who played for the Lakers, right? So when you look at the history of that, Kobe had a lot on his shoulders. You know, can he compete with Magic Johnson? Can he compete with all the other greats that played on the Lakers and everything? It's that's a, a pretty historic and uh, you know recognizable team. That 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 yellow and purple is, uh, or that gold and purple, whatever color that is. Uh, is a is a dominant color, okay? But he put that on. He got his color. He got his number. I forgot what his numbers was. I believe he had two different numbers, but that number meant something to him. And he said, "I'm not going to come in here to be like Magic Johnson. I'm not going to come in here and worry about the Larry Birds that 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 competed against us. I'm not worried about all of the greats back then. You know, the Utah Jazz and all this stuff was going. On. He didn't want to worry about that. He didn't want to define himself as Michael Jordan. He wanted to define himself as Kobe Bryant." Allen Iverson didn't want to be Kobe. He wanted to beat Kobe. He gave Kobe all his all his respects, but I'm sure when he was on the court, he wanted to break Kobe's ankles. Allen Iverson is a legend. Did he start off as an amateur? Yes. Do they all start off as amateurs? Yes. Did Shaq start off as an amateur? Yes. He started breaking backboards, and this man got a name for himself. He is a legend. Like I said before, when you start an online business, when you get that new career, when, when, when you join a new job, you are an amateur in the beginning. But over time, week after week, month after month, year after year, you're showing up. You're showing up. You're not stopping. You're showing up on time. Every day, you're putting two, three, four hours to your business online. Every day you're going to the office, every single day you got your face in that book, every single day. You're not letting nothing get to you. You're not letting no disturbance, nobody upstairs, nobody downstairs if you live in an apartment complex. None of the noise that you hear outside, the cars going past, you don't care about none of that. You got your face in the book. You got your face in the computer screen learning. You're listening to the audios, you're studying. You are going from amateur to all the way up to intermediate to being a legend. Everybody didn't know everything. All these legends, they had to learn slowly but surely. They had to perfect their shot, perfect their dribble. They had to perfect everything. They had to envision themselves as being the most dominant player in the world. Not in a city, not in a state, not in a country, but just in the entire world. Now, you can't say Kobe Bryant and nobody not know who they is. You can't say Michael Jordan and nobody not who they are know who they are. You can't say Shaquille O'Neal or Allen Iverson. People know who all of these people are because they are legends. They defined their own future. You, you are a legend. The person that I'm looking at, I may just be looking through a computer lens right now, but I am envisioning a person looking at me, watching me right now. You, I'm talking to you right now. You, put everything aside and pay attention to what I'm about to say. You are a legend. You are the best. You are a champion. You are important. I love you. I care for you. Even if everybody done written you off a long time ago. Listen, I care about you, okay? You are a driven entrepreneur. You are a learner. You are somebody that is not going to take no for an answer. You are somebody to be reckoned with. Don't ever let somebody disrespect your dream. Ever. Don't ever let somebody mess you up. Because even, even a legend was once an amateur. We all start off small. We all start off, you know, on the, on the totem pole. You know, the low hanging fruit. We just all small at the bottom. But over time, people are going to start taking notice and seeing how good you are at your job. How good you are at your career. And promotions are going to start coming around. Raises are going to start coming around. Okay? New job titles are going to start coming around. More money, more commission percentages are going to start coming around for you. Okay? 
You are a leader. You lead the flock. You follow no one. You are a student of the game. You take in all the information that you need to take in. But when it's time for you to lead, when it's time for you to get up on that stage and speak, and you got that microphone in your hand, what you are about to say is going to change a nation. You are important. You are a champion. You may not have that belt like WWE, or you may not have that belt like Floyd Mayweather or anything like that. But maybe you got a trophy. Maybe you was the top salesperson in your community. Maybe the job uh, that you was with. Maybe they was on the Inc. 5000. Whatever it is, be it. Feel, accept, feel, feel accomplished for what your company has done. Because it was with you. Every phone call, okay, every meeting, that's important. Everything that you've done, you are a champion. You, you are a champion. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it, man. You did it. We all started as, 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 as just regular, you know, people. But then you need to understand that you define you. Nobody else. You define yourself. We all start off as amateurs, but it's up to us to become a legend in whatever field, whatever niche it is that we decide to pursue. Because even the legends like soon to be LeBron James and Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal and Charles Barkley and Allen Iverson and Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and all the wonderful, wonderful legends, they all started off as amateurs. But you... You're a legend. Trust me. I know. I can see it in you already. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch my video. Take care. Please like, subscribe, share, comment below what you think. More videos coming. Take care. And as always, as you know, God bless. Talk to you soon.